Welcome to the Health Flow Podcast. I'm your host, Jean Armand. Join me weekly as I share health information that will educate and inspire you. Please consider supporting this podcast by listening, subscribing, sharing, and rating. Once again, welcome to the Health Flow Podcast. Hey everyone, welcome to episode number 54, I'm sorry, episode number 53 of the Health Flow Podcast. So I've been thinking long and hard um, about what even to talk about this week. And um, actually this morning is when it dawned on me, I was listening to um, one of the um, podcasts on finances. And it was really good. Um, I enjoyed it. There's quite a few that I've been listening to. I listened to lots of stuff. Um, I started by listening to um, Side Hustle Pro. I listened to Brown Ambition. I listened to Popcorn Finance, just Paychecks and Balances, just a lot of um, um, podcasts out there. And um, that's how I even got started. But I realized um, just, you know, my podcast is a little different. Um, It's about health. And... um, you know, some of these podcasts, they have thousands of downloads um, per month with lots of reviews. And and by the way, listen, I need to know that you guys are out there. Um, um, Please go to iTunes or Anchor FM and go ahead and subscribe, review, give me a five-star review. And please feel free to email me, um, thehealthflow at gmail.com. Um, Let me know what you'd like to hear, ask questions. And if you have a healthcare um, condition or a healthcare story you'd like to share, I'm here. For me, what I realized today and I was thinking about is like, this is why I started the podcast because I wanted everyone to get more health information um, so that they can make better health decisions because day in and day out, um, day in, you know, every day that I go to work, there's just so many people with so many different who are health conditions. And each day myself and my um, co-workers, you know, we just see how people really don't understand what's going on with their health. They're not, they're not as, they just don't have a clear understanding. And I'm not one to just blame the patient. I want, I blame us sometimes because I'm saying there's something that we're not doing we're not explaining some things clearly enough so that um, the person can understand it. That's one factor. Another factor could be um, just, you know, it's hard. The medical field is not cut and dry. It's not black and white. There's a lot of different things to understand in order to get a good understanding so it's never just cut and dry it's not um just one thing you know do exactly this and this is you're going to be fine it's it's not like this and we're human beings our bodies are special our bodies are different so yes genetically we're made up our cells are different all of us we we're just transcribed 
differently. So then we react differently to different things. So it's not cookie cutter. I can't say that everyone that has high blood pressure, this is the way we're gonna treat them. What works for one person doesn't work for the other. You as an individual and family members, you have to fight for what you want and um, be vocal, ask questions for things you don't understand. It's really unacceptable for someone to not know the medications that they're taking when you're coming to a new healthcare provider. So you see your primary care physician, that's the one that orders your medications, certain medications. You may have a pet specialist, say you have a cardiologist and the cardiologist um, prescribes the medication that's pertaining to the condition that he or she is treating. So it's up to you as the patient, the individual, to keep track of all your medications and you bring it, that information to your doctor. Please stop thinking that we should already, we talk to each other when we may work at different facilities, different um, parts of the state. We, it just, uh, I wish it did. And I know we're working towards that where we've, over the years in medicine, um, certain computer system are now different hospitals that have bought into different, this one particular health um, computer system. So for example, Epic is one of them, where many hospitals in Atlanta, we can see a patient's um, healthcare information, we can share the information that's needed. Um, and a, just one specific um, incident I had this week was a gentleman came, he's getting clearance for um, a particular surgery, and I'm asking him about the medications that he's currently taking. I believe he had, he was on high blood pressure medicine. And they're specific, when we clear for surgery, they're medications that we tell you to take and not take. They're meds that are absolutely fine for you to t continue to take at the morning of the procedure, but they're medicines that we absolutely need to tell you not take them or stop them three to five days before or a week before. So there's specific instructions. And he actually got annoyed with me when I said, um, what medications are you taking? He's like, I'm taking blood pressure medicine. What are they? The white pill. I don't know what the white pill looks like. Um, do you have a list? Well, don't you have it in the computer? He says, no, it's not in front of me. If I had it in the computer, I really wouldn't be asking you I would probably still would be asking, but just verifying it. Furthermore, I need to know things change. I need to know that you know what you're on and what you're taking for your blood pressure. Um, then I said, is there anybody at home? Can you call? No, there's no one I can call. All right. So what pharmacy do you get it from? Um, okay. He was able to give me the pharmacy name. I did a Google search, called the pharmacy, got the medicine. One of them was okay for him to continue to take. The other one he needed to absolutely not take the morning of surgery. This is important. And, you know, with everything that's out there, all the different topics and information and health is wealth and all these financial things, and I'm all about that financial growth, um, learning to be a better investment, learning about day trading, stocks and bonds, um, real estate investment, all that is super and great. Believe me, I'm an avid listener, but I want people to become more excited about their health, more excited, more focused about your health. It's worth it, you're worth it. These things are important. You must know what high blood pressure is doing to your body and the risk factors and how it could be treated and, and how you could possibly reduce it and who in the family has what. Cancer is running, just, it's just going crazy. 
whether it's, I see more and more young people who have cancer, who bad cancer, like, um, you know, things that aren't treatable, that devastating cancer. It's just, it's just, it's heart wrenching. Last person I saw, 34 year old with thyroid cancer who had thyroid already removed. And now the, there's, um, um, the lymph nodes are enlarged. Um, and it, it appears that the thyroid has spread. This is serious business, people. We've got to take our health more seriously. Health is wealth. Because you can have, think about Steve Jobs from Apple, all the health, all the money in the world, and he couldn't buy his health. All the money in the world. Still, you can't use the money if you're not healthy. I'm, I'm about, you know, everyone going out there, getting what you can. But please, people, let's get better education about our health. Let's get more informed about our health. We can fight a lot of this stuff. Early detection goes a long way. Early detection in many, the majority of cancers um, can be adequately treated. We've come a long way. Yes, there are some cancers that are devastating and no matter what we do, the outcome may still be death, but there's lots of things to, that can be done to prolong our lives. People, we've got to exercise. We've got to eat better. We've got to lose the weight. Um, amazing example today, I saw a gentleman, he had um, a devastating cancer, but one thing um, that his doctor told him, and it was a treatable cancer, very treatable cancer, but this man was, um, so we have, we describe people as obese, morbidly obese, or super morbid obese. So he, at one point in his life, two years ago, was super morbid obese. His BMI was greater than 50. So this particular um, specialist, um, he deals with urological cancers, bladder cancer, um, penile cancer, just anything to do with like certain renal cancers. Um, urology. And he will tell patients when they come and people come from all over the state to be treated by him. And what he will say is, you need to lose weight. You have to show me that you want this. Because if I do this, your weight is going to be a barrier to your healing. So he, with this particular gentleman, he, he told him you had to do something about your weight before, you know, I'll do what I can to stop the, um, you know, to make sure this cancer doesn't kill you, but you've got to lose the weight because the man had, he was so, the, just the weight alone had taken, had such a toll on his body. He had sleep apnea, which Sleep apnea is a, is serious, can be serious. I don't think that we we take, we don't fully understand it. And what, I'm going to do an episode just on that because I find, you know, I ask people, you know, you snore loudly. Do you fall asleep easily in the daytime? Um, has anybody observed you stop breathing? And like, um, I don't think they understand the seriousness of that. That happens with the majority of obese people, or if you have any nasal issues. Um, yeah, and you that puts you at a higher risk for heart disease and, and early death. So I'll, I'll, I'll discuss that at another um, time. But anyway, the, the physician challenged this gentleman to lose the weight. He had gastric bypass, and 
he lost 100 pounds. With the loss of 100 pounds, this man no longer suffered from sleep apnea. He no longer needed, he was a diabetic like pre-diabetes. Boom, that's gone. No more diabetic, um, no more checking fingers, his blood sugar, that's gone. And he had high blood pressure. Wonderful. No more blood pressure medicine. His blood pressure is perfect. Perfect. He lost a hundred pounds and is as if he got a new leash on life. Can walk better, the knee pain, the back pain, can sleep better. And now here it is today. I'm clearing him for surgery because now it's safe for him to have this long um, surgical procedure that's very necessary. Um, but if he had, if he was at the weight that he was, the risk for him to have the operation, um, for him not surviving it would have been higher. The complications would have been higher. And then the healing of the wounds and the, the, the special things that he needed to done, it, it needed, it would have just been more riskier. So, I mean, I just, I want us, I feel like I'm just like pleading with us, with everyone out there to take your health seriously. It's important. It really is. It really is. Health is wealth because without your health, once your health goes, every, you know, what else can you do? I mean, please, please learn more. I'm here to educate you. I'm here to answer your health questions. I'm putting it out there. You know, just regardless of whether who, and this is my calling. I love what I do. I love healthcare. This is what I was meant to do. So I'm going to keep on doing it. There's enough um, topics out there, health topics. There's so much to be covered. I would so much enjoy um, this, this process if I had more feedback, if I had more communication, if I just had people you know, requesting topics, then I know that I can just tell you um, what you need, you know, just answer your questions or do topics geared toward what you, you wanna know. Um, for now, though, I'll just keep on put the information there and um, it's going to reach someone and I hope it just it, it can it just picks up and start reaching more people so we can really have a movement. We need a healthcare movement. We need to be more informative. We need more understanding of what's going on and with our bodies. Um, please, I'm here. I'm here at your service. Um, just to um, get all of us more educated about our health. So yes, health is wealth. And I want you to be wealthy in your health and in your finances. Um, so listen to the Health Flow podcast. Rate, give me five-star rating, subscribe, review, and send me an email with questions or if you want to share your um, healthcare experience, thehealthflow, F-L-O, at gmail.com. So just all, at, all together, thehealthflo at gmail.com. Thank you and have a wonderful, healthy rest of the week. Thank you for listening to the Health Flow Podcast. Your support is much appreciated. It is my goal to share health information that you find helpful. Email topics of interest to thehealthflow at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram at thehealthflow, also on Facebook at thehealthflow. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, 
and share. Until next time, keep your health flowing.